and sending me email and calling me up and calling me names that doesn't phase me at all because, frankly, my dear Scarlett, I don't give a damn. You see, I don't do this broadcast for ratings. I don't do it for popularity. I don't do it to make you like me. I don't do it to make you love me. I don't do it to make you care about me. I'm doing it to try to save this nation, to try to restore a constitutional Republican government, to try to prevent things like Waco and Ruby Ridge and what's happening in Sandpoint, Idaho today. And that's the only thing I care about. is the future of freedom. And I've told you a million times, I'm going to tell you again, if you're not ready and willing to die for freedom, it cannot be yours, it will not be yours. You cannot have it. You don't even understand it. You don't know what it is. You are not worthy of it. You do not deserve it, and you will not live in it. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. You see, I don't, <laughs> I really don't care what you think about me. Never have. That's not my purpose. I'm not here. To become your little radio star. I'm not here. To serve you personally. I'm not here to make you happy. I'm not here to make you comfortable. I'm not here to tell you that you are wonderful and great and smart and brilliant. I'm not here to promise you some wonderful attribute because of your status as an American. I'm here to tell you, unless you change your ways, you're doomed, you're screwed, up yours, out of it. You know, you ain't nothing. Most of you are so damn stupid, you don't even know what day it is. You don't know what's happening in your city council, and yet you sit around criticizing national politics. Which, if you don't understand what's going on in your city council, I can guarantee you, you haven't got the slightest clue about what you're talking about on a national level. And since most of you have never seen or read a constitution, you don't even know what the national level is anyway. You have no idea what your government is supposed to be or what it's become. You don't know what your rights are. You don't know what's protected or not protected. You don't know the history of this country. You don't understand the Articles of Confederation. You don't understand the unanimous declaration of the original 13 colonies. You don't understand the Constitution for the United States and the Bill of Rights. You don't understand that the Bill of Rights is an integral part of the Constitution, part and parcel. In short, ladies and gentlemen, not only is this a nation of cowards, but it's a nation who does not know their ass from a hole in the ground, and that's the truth. And if you don't like that, turn off your radio and get the hell out of my life. Go away. Disappear. Join baby marks. But understand that someday you are going to face men like me on a battlefield peering at you over the sights of a rifle because we will no matter how long it takes no matter how difficult it is no matter how many of us must die we will restore constitutional republican government we will reinstate the law in this country we will do that It's our duty. And if you want to get in the way, you better damn sure make sure you're not one of those cowards I was talking about. Because I'll tell you right now, point blank, with no minced words whatsoever, when that day comes... That civil war breaks out in this country, and we must do everything that we must to restore a constitutional Republican government. If you get in front of me on the battlefield, I'm going to blow your damn head off. And I'll do it so quick, you won't even understand what the hell happened. 
and I'm just one lonely little person. And I don't need gas money for a car to get where I need to go. I don't need anything except my determination, the righteousness of my cause, and whatever I have available to me. If I have to walk a thousand miles, I'll do it. Which brings me to some of the calls last night. What about you? Oh, I can't, I can't do it. I, I don't have any money left. It, you know, it's in the middle of the month. It's the end of the month. And I haven't got paid. And I don't have any gas for my car. <laughs> Tell that to George Washington. He didn't have a car. He was lucky to have a horse. His men never had horses. They walked from South Carolina to New York and from New York back to South Carolina. Tell that to all the soldiers in the Civil War. They didn't have cars. They didn't have troop transports. They didn't have gasoline. They didn't even have paychecks. They walked. They walked. Tell that to the pioneers who settled this country. What do you think? They started out and in, in, uh, got off the boat in New York and uh, or wherever they got off the boat at and, and uh, uh, you know, Bought them a big giant wagon and beautiful team of horses, and they set out for the West Coast. Bullshit. They walked. All of them walked. Even the ones that had wagons and oxen to pull those wagons, they would not ride in those wagons. You know why? Because it added more weight for the oxen to pull, and the oxen were valuable. They could not lose their oxen, and so they walked. They walked. They walked, you stupid fools. They walked. God gave you legs, not cars, not gasoline. How dare you tell me that you couldn't go to the aid of your fellow Americans to protect all of our freedoms because you had money for gasoline. Up your gasoline. Screw you and your gasoline. Screw your car. Who the hell do you think you are? What is wrong with this country? How low have we sunk that we think that to protect our freedoms and to protect our fellow Americans against oppression, despotism, and tyranny that we have to have money for gasoline? Who the hell are you? I don't know you. Last night, I understood exactly that phrase in the Bible. Where all of these preachers and people would say, I have performed miracles in your name. I have done this and this and this. And he looked, turned around, looked at and says, I know ye not. I don't know you people. You don't make sense to me. You don't have any brains. You don't have any guts. You don't have any balls. You don't have any common sense. You don't care. You have no values. Nothing. And I'm telling you right now that as usual, I'm not talking to every single person out there. But I am talking to those of you whom this little tirade really disturbs because I'm telling you if it disturbs you, if it bothers you if it makes you angry I am pushing your buttons and you know absolutely that I am absolutely correctly on target with you and that's the truth with you it's the truth with you